So let's try and build our first application. Going back to the Angular CLI setup here, I can run a new project by saying ng, that's an Angular CLI command, new for creating a new project, and then putting in the name of my new project. Let's try and do that. So I'll write ng new, that's the Angular CLI command, and then let's call this um, cp2 for course planner 2 mean for the mean stack. I'll press enter and here I'll generate an entire set of new classes here. Uh, sorry, new files here under a source folder. Most of the files, but some of them are also placed in the root. We'll talk a bit about these files later, but that's kind of, it's just building a full running Angular 4 application actually, since we're using the Angular CLI uh, version 1.0. So it says that the project has been successfully created. So now I can do CD for, go to, for going to my directory called cp2 mean. And in here, I can actually run the project right now. So let's have a look just how you can run the project. And again, you use an Angular CLI command called ng serve to actually launch your project. So let's try that, ng serve like this. And let's see what happens. It starts building all my components. Now, we'll dive more into this, but all of this is actually written in TypeScript. So it's going to convert all of my different components into something that can actually be read by your browser. So it, just think of this as a compilation. We're going to convert all the text that we've written into something that our browser can actually read. And we're going to make it cross compatible for each browser that exists. We're going to make some packages that makes it, makes it easier for the browser to get the files it needs. There's going to happen so many things for actually making this work and run. Now it should actually be running on localhost 4200. Now, this is actually just means that we're running on our local machine and we've just opened a port on 4200. There are other ports out there. This uses 4200 as default. Let's try and see what we actually got. So if I run in this localhost 4200, it says app works. Whee! That works. But look at how fast that was. Now we actually have a running application and next we'll look more into Angular and the folder structure and stuff like that. See you in the next lesson.